Yeah, um, my name is Andrew. Um, we're here today to give you guys some insight, uh, not only to the VR AR development uh, process, but to answer questions that you guys might have and for you guys to test what we've recently been working on and to give us feedback on that. Um, I'll let Kevin introduce you. Sure. Um, my name's Kevin. I'm a gameplay programmer at Labradex. Um, I started only four months ago now. I came on as a QA tester originally and then just kind of fell into this position. Uh, and it's been really great. But uh, yeah, for the past few weeks, we've been working on uh, this app that we're going to be demoing. Pretty, pretty much nice like you app. and I. And yeah, yeah, like, which yeah. has been an interesting experience much. going from you know a game we released a few months ago um, on Oculus and Vive uh, that was more of like a two year, year and a half yeah. long process oh, yeah. going from working with a full team doing that and then going to something kind of stripped down, building it from the ground up, more or less just the two of us, and it helps with uh, Yeah, and it was a totally different uh, learning curve, too, because when you make games for um, you know, for Vive and Oculus, and uh, even for PSVR, um, although that's sort of on the lower lower end of the that that spectrum. Um, it's, it's making uh, assets at a higher fidelity, and you have to shoot for a higher frame rate, but it can process that and handle it. And then you go straight to a mobile thing where it's hands free, and it's basically running off a. Of if you have anything you want to say or introduce, or um, okay, uh, well, I think what we're gonna do. How many people do we have? Looks like 24. That's a good estimation. You say volunteer. 25. Yeah, it's like 25. Yeah. Okay. Um, so. Okay. Um, we'll probably get. I think what we'll do is we'll just go this way and work our way that way. Um, we'll have people come up. Um, we'll put the headsets on you. Um, we'll start show you like how to start the app or where to start the app. <laughs> This is called Dex's Day Out. Um, it's essentially, you guys ever, hopefully you know what this is. You know what a Tamagotchi was or is? Yes. No. All right, so it's essentially kind of like that. A Tamagotchi, it was something that when I was in middle school, I think, when it came out, um, it was like a little virtual pet that you would feed, clean up his poop. We're not going to let you clean up his poop. That's not a feature that we have. But this is a dog that you... Um, that was actually modeled after our boss's uh, Labrador, and we brought him into the game. I built the environment. So the interesting thing about the, uh, the this headset in particular is uh, three doff. Does anyone know what three doff means? If this is a VR AR class, you better know what doff, three doff, and six doff are. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, so uh, three doff is essentially uh, degrees of freedom. And this allows you to, it really only tracks your rotational movement. So that means that you can't walk around and your player character won't move with you in the environment. But if you turn your head, it tracks your basically head rotation. Six DOF is six degrees of freedom, which is locational, essentially translational and rotational position. So you can move around and do the whole thing. Um, those are the differences. And that's this is three DOF. So when you load in, it'll just be a simple, you've got a, a floating controller, and as you can hear, some sounds. You have toys you can play with. Um, you can tell Dex to go fetch. Um, there's a number of things you can <laughs> <laughs> I can't, this is upside down. Uh, yeah. can't read this. Yeah. Oh, this is cute. Hey, uh, I'm gonna touch your face for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Um, any other questions? Because y'all need to keep oh. spitballing because everyone's going to come up here and I need to keep you engaged. What's up? What programming language would you use to create the game? So we use Unreal Engine. So, uh, but I'm going to defer to Kevin because yeah, so, he's our scripter. And um, so the thing with Unreal Engine is that its architecture is all based on C++. 
but it has this system called Blueprint, which is kind of like a higher level of abstraction above it, which is kind of a pseudocode visualization of C++ that's way more readable and easier for designers to use. Um, it's, it runs on a virtual machine though, so it's a lot slower, so it's not advised to use as much as you can, but since this is a small app, uh, we can get away with using that mostly. So there's a little bit of C++ foundation, but most of it's uh, in Blueprint. Um, so now if we want to add future additions, so like you can, we do work with the guide dog foundation, so we're going to add like a training session on how to like work with guide dogs, yeah. or if we add you know, more treats, more tricks, um, like a puzzle game in the end, two ninety nine with those, and that's the good price of it, and it could be, it could be up a little bit. It has, like, either, like, training or... Yeah, all those different applications. Okay, cool. Yeah, like, the first two times. That's an awesome experience. What kind of headsets do they have? Do you know? Uh, they have an Oculus. Oh, nice. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah it, should, it should have launched already. You should be good. This. Oh, this, huh? Um, does anyone in here have any favorite games they play right now or games they're looking forward to or anything? We have our Oh, really? Who's a elevator? I was you said you didn't think just like stick there? Yes. Uh, I mean, so, wait, hold on. So, if you were to see this app like in a store right now, what would you think would be a good price for it? Price for yeah. that? So what's the current if I currently see, I say solid. I think it's ten dollars. Ten dollars. Okay. So if we were to also add later on free upgrades, so next time we do Guide Dog Foundation, it's like free DLC and stuff like that. Yeah. So we do we do work with the Guide Dog Foundation. We add it in, um, basically like a training session or you know learning how to work with guide dogs or what the training process is. Um, and then phase three, we're looking to add you know more tricks, more treats, um, the puzzle map, to kind of you can click what kind of environment that you're going into so then you can have to kind of look for items and have a mini game. You know, that would still be a good price or I see for ten dollars yeah. all that stuff, that'd be a really good price. Yeah, it would be like a steal basically. <laughs> I said right in the face. <laughs> you hit him in the face. Yeah. I've done that. <laughs> That's a pretty cool. I don't want to use that. So the mediums wear is the first thing that yeah, but you don't want to wear a small. It's got a little strength. <laughs> um, do we have we have more at all? We have a lot more. At the yeah, office, yeah. Say, we have some mediums, <laughs> but I honestly think a medium would still be. They shrink a little bit. Too. Plus, I have I wear I wear my size is shrunken. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> she made <him>. yeah. <laughs> That's my size, shrunken and medium. <laughs> oh my god! Well, the good thing is it didn't crash. This is fun. This is interesting to look at. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> You guys causing trouble over there? Who's that outside our door? This is entertaining to look at. Yeah, watching them play VR. Yeah. It's not nice. I'm playing you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I the dog. Okay. How do you get to drink water? Uh, so click on the water ball. Yeah. Or, and, and yeah, the trigger. Yeah. There you go, and aim at it. Should go towards it. 
playing with the bowl, so. Yeah, no. he's, uh, he's distracted. Like much like a real dog. Yeah, you know, a real dog. Yeah. <laughs> Drink your water. There he goes. There you go. What? Treat? And to refill it, you can click on that little water oh, yeah. faucet. Nice and heat. That's fun. <laughs> yeah, 